Hello and welcome to Random Reviews and How To's. I'm Ross Marone, and today I'm going to be talking about how I cut cable. Now, my cable subscription was about $130 per month, and that included my internet fee, which was $63. After a two year deal, once from moving from one house to another, that two years expired, and my bill went up to about $210. For me, can't justify that. So, my wife and I talked about it. We have two small kids, my mother in law watches our daughters through the week. So for me, cutting cable is more than just me learning how to use new devices. It's actually having everyone else that's in my house know how to use those devices. So obviously there's a lot of options. You could go with Fire Stick, a Roku, you could use a Google Chromecast. Um, but what I decided to do, because I already had a Chromecast, was to actually go with the Amazon Fire Stick and to go with a combination of using Hulu and a digital uh, antenna. So those are the two major upgrades that we're going to be talking about that I did today. Now the first thing is, is that yes, 210 bucks, it's a lot of money per month to be spending on cable. I actually tried to go with some different options. My cable provider, which is Armstrong, I'm located in Northeast Ohio, had some different options for me as to how I could cut down on the channels, which would reduce the price down, but it just didn't get me the channels that I was looking for, plus the package that I wanted in the right price. Now going from that 130 up to that 210 obviously was a drastic uh, raise in price for me. So cutting cable is something that I wanted to do. I've been talking about it for a long time. So two things I'm gonna be talking about reviewing today. First of all, the Amazon Fire Stick. I went ahead and purchased one of these. This cost $40, uh, whether you buy it from Amazon or wherever you get it from, 40 bucks. So I'll have a link to this in the uh, description down below. And then the second thing I bought was this Mohu uh, digital antenna. Now this is pretty neat because this has up to a 40 mile radius a range, which is something that's important. So depending on where you're located, you're gonna to wanna to see how far you can get. There were some different price points on this as well. Uh, larger ranges gave you more, shorter ranges gave you less. This cost me $30. There's also a link for this on Amazon to get this. And you can see that there's channels that's uh, provided with this. So it's gonna get you your local stations, which I know is a big deal for a lot of people when it comes to actually cutting cable is losing those. Uh, so between this and the Amazon Fire Stick, I'm looking at $70 startup fees and costs in this. Internet's another big thing. Because we're gonna be streaming this, we wanna be really thinking about how much data we're gonna be using. As I said, I have two little girls who have their own iPads, my wife's on her phone, I'm on my phone, I do work at home. So knowing your data limits and what you have through your internet's also important. I'm sticking with spending the $62. I actually have to spend that much in my location because I have no other cable providers that could give me wired internet into my house. If I went with a wireless option, uh, I'm gonna be using a lot more data. I just don't think the strength's gonna be there. So my $62 per month is giving me 100 megabits of download speed, 10 megabits of upload, and then I have a one terabyte threshold for the month that I can use. And I did a little bit of looking into my data and we're only doing uh, about 750 megabytes per month on streaming now. So, uh, or that's what I, I think the estimate's gonna be that I looked at. So I have another option to go upgrade that internet if I need to, I'll go up from 100 to 300 megabytes per second, which is tremendously fast. And my digital space will get increased to two terabytes per month, which I can't see us ever using that one terabyte. So for right now, my cost per month uh, is gonna be about $106. And that's with me going with a Hulu subscription and my internet. Hulu's gonna cost me $40 per month. Uh, I may end up adding in a subscription to some other streaming service if I want to, and also looking into buying different networks. Now CBS, NBC, NFL, WWE, they all offer subscription-based services. So if I wanted to get into one of those, I can. Some of those range from 10 bucks a month up to if you wanted something like an HBO or, or Showtime, it might be in the 20 range. Uh, not 100% sure on that, those might actually be 10s as well. So you have a lot of options to really kind of put together an a la carte of channels that you're looking for. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, this video is just showing you how I cut cable. I'm going to unbox these two things right now, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like to actually get them installed. Overall, I don't think it's going to take me more than a half hour to get everything taken care of. We're going to go ahead and unbox this uh, Fire Stick here for you. So like most Amazon products, it just has this tab that we're going to pull across the top here. And pull the back out. slides out opens up we got our remote that we're going to be using and then also our fire stick so as you see that plugs in with HDMI uh, we're going to just plug that into the back of the TV now going into this I do have a Chromecast already 
um, which allows me to stream from my computer, but I wanted to have something that had a remote. So that's why ideally I switched over this from Chromecast. I'm gonna be using the Chromecast on one of my other TVs. In the house, like I said early on, I have three TVs that I use. So all the different things here, there's probably some instructions there. That's our uh, gonna be our plug. And then we also have another um, HDMI. It looks like it's probably an extender for ours here. So we can actually plug this in or we could plug that right in. This gives us just a little bit more option there for extension. This is gonna be what powers it up on the back of my TV. Um, I actually do have the, uh, I do have the USB power. So I will be using this uh, as part of the power. And like I said, we got a remote there, batteries, all of that's pretty simple. So that is your Fire Stick TV from Amazon. Like I said, $40 for this product. I'm gonna have a link to it in the description. The next product we're gonna be unboxing here is the Mohu, I think I'm saying that what, right? Leaf 30, it's your indoor HD TV antenna. Uh, like I said earlier, this has a 40 mile range. It's gonna give you a 4K ready, 1080 HD TV. It's paper thin, they say, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. And they weren't lying, it is paper thin, so you can see how thin of a product this is. Uh, it has two holes here for mounting. And inside here, you have your bag with your coax cable. Um, and we also, looks like we have some different pins and Velcro things we could use to, for mounting. So that's kind of nice. We're gonna wanna mount this uh, somewhere where you're gonna get signal. Now, the instructions here are saying that once you have your coax cable hooked in, and I think that uh, we're probably dealing with a, hopefully it says here on the box, a 10 foot cable. So that does give us some room to play with. Um, you're gonna wanna mount this somewhere where you get the signal, but when you, have, this is like setting up an old school uh, TV where you just do a channel search on the TV. You're gonna plug this right into the TV. Do a channel search and as long as it's picking up that signal from here, it should get those channels. If it doesn't, the instructions do say to be able to move this around. So you're gonna wanna find somewhere that you can move this. The nice thing about this, this is like a vinyl. Um, you can paint this. So one side's white, one side's black. Uh, it's not gonna matter which way we face it, but it is gonna be something that we can paint over and that is something that they advertise that it's paintable. So makes it a little bit nicer too as we look at switching over our service and where we're actually gonna be putting all of this stuff. So this here is my TV setup. Um, I actually do use this IO device up top. That's for, I didn't wanna have a lot of cords coming down. So all I have right there is the power cord. Um, I actually use that IO gear, which I will put a link to as well. Uh, that actually streams over to my cable box now. Back here, you'll see I plugged in the Amazon Fire Stick, uh, just right into the HDMI port right here. And then there's the power source right there, the USB. So I actually have another one there. Those are the other, that's the IO gear. And then I'm gonna plug the coax cable in back here as well. I now have my antenna plugged in, as you can see right there. So I'm at my antenna option here. Uh, I have cable selected. I'm gonna do a auto program. And I think I want to go with uh, air. I'm not fully sure. Let's see what happens. It says there's 11 channels memorized. So let's go back and exit here and see what we have. So we go, this is a local channel, HD. Another local channel, HD. And it's not HD because it's showing the old masters. But, so that did work using that selection. It's using the antenna. So I know it's in a good spot. I'm gonna end up hiding this antenna back behind the TV. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and go through the setup of the Amazon Fire Stick. I did want to show real quick how I have the antenna. I do just have it uh, nestled back here. I ended up tying it up. There was a nail coming out of my fireplace there, so I have it there. There's the cable that came with it. I just have that looped in, and then that is plugged into my coax back there in the back. When I plugged in my Amazon Fire Stick, I did get this message um, that there's insignificant and insufficient. USB power detected, 
uh, using included USB cable and Amazon power adapter for proper operation, which I did do, but it's also doing this optimizing system storage and application. So I think it might be working. I'm actually letting this run through. Uh, it has taken about the better half of the 10 minutes here that it said it would. So, so I finally did get my Amazon to start up. I actually did have to use the power source. My USB on my TV was not enough. It was enough for my Chromecast though. So interesting enough, uh, maybe the newer TVs have a little more power supply. So got it on. It's asking me here to hit my home button. Now I have to hit play to start. Choose language. Scanning for my networks. That's going to find my Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and put it on that one. It's connecting to my Wi-Fi now. Now this is also the network that my Alexa is going to be on. It's also the network that I can stream from my computer over to here. Uh, so I'm just trying to keep everything on the same Wi-Fi network as well. I'll go, go ahead and register my Amazon account. So right now I just attach it to my Amazon account and ask me if I want to do parental controls. I don't. While we finish setting up your device, let's take a quick tour of your new Fire TV stick. Streaming shows and movies just got a whole lot easier. Fire TV. So I'm going to actually stop there. That is the setup of the um, Amazon Fire Stick. Easy enough. I have my digital TV going. The only difference here is I have to go between two inputs, uh, whether or not I want to watch our uh, antenna TV or I want to come here and use the fire stick to watch Hulu. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my Hulu account and then I'll have both of those. So that is how I've been able to cut cable and take it down from the $210 a month to 106. Uh, I just wanted to give a little update. So it's been about two days over the weekend, uh, actually three days over the weekend here that we've been running with the uh, antenna Hulu and cutting the cable completely. Uh, I think what we noticed right away is the kids caught on really fast on how to use Hulu, so they're really using that. There's a ton of kids shows, which is really cool. This was actually a uh, master's weekend for me, and being a huge golf fan, what's really nice is the Golf Channel had all its stations. I was able to stream, because I still do have Chromecast, I was able to stream from the master's app on my cell phone to watch the entire master. So when you're looking at how am I going to be able to watch the shows that I watch, you have to get a little bit creative. Um, we watch American Idol, so that's one of the shows that I know, at least this morning, it came on to Hulu. So we're a day behind, but we're still able to watch all of our shows. Uh, we've just been a little more creative on what we're watching, too. We watched a couple movies this weekend. We talked about starting some series, so there's a lot of options. The digital TV is crystal clear. I'm really shocked and surprised how well that comes in. So having those few handful of local stations, the ABC, NBC, CBS, has been really useful. Uh, and just being able to switch back and forth has been easy for not only me, but my children, which is most important, and my wife who uh, uses the TV a lot too. So the days that I'm not home when she's with them, she knows how to get down there and, and use the TV as well. So I think cutting cable has been the right decision for now. Uh, hopefully nothing changes, and if something does, I'll update you here. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and, and don't please, please uh, hit that subscribe button below. Thanks.